hundred percent you. Thank you so much. Okay. Okay. Thank you for your uh, great introduction. Um, well, nice to meet you, everyone. Okay. Um, uh, before I start, I'd like to thank to the BCB team. Um, you had a really great job, and then especially Rhiannon. Um, she, you, you just uh, deal with uh, with us uh, a lot of things smoothly. So I really thank you. Um, okay. So I'd like to start. Okay. What's that? Um, so I'm gonna uh, talk about my work um, at the beginning of the presentation will be about my work in general and then afterward uh, work about the I uh, the work uh, exhibited in this uh, exhibition okay just a little bit about myself um, my name is Jin Lee Kim just call me Jin um, I'm from South Korea and um, what else? <laughs> I am a father of two children, and I'm working as a ceramic artist uh, for uh, uh, in Cardiff. Um, I've been I came to Cardiff uh, 15, 16 years ago, um, and then I'm still here. <laughs> yeah, keep making, making, you know, yeah, right. And then, and then if you want to know more of, more about my career or about myself and then you can um, uh, go to my website and then there are lots of information about me okay so I want to talk about m how my work began at the beginning so this piece is I made when I was in MA I was really interested in repetitive mark surface mark with a repetitive action so I dig the clay out from the surface, created a uh, repetitive mark. And then I found a really strange phenomenon appeared on the surface. Um, for example, here, so uh, it should be dent, but it was came out, it looked like. So I couldn't get rid of that from my eye. So at that point, I was really I want to know why I see why I see the principle uh, the, that kind of uh, phenomena. So I started to look at the terms like uh, optical illusion or optical effect or visual perception. So I and I thought if I know more about principle in creation of optical effect, I thought I can create I could be able to create my own. Uh, illusory quality, of, yeah. So I, while I was doing researching about uh, more about uh, resource, uh, find out resources about the visual perception, I found the linear element was really crucial and basic element for in creation of yeah, illusory quality. So um, a very interesting uh, experiment I did. So I made this this piece with a line and this one as well. And then I took photos and I take, took the line through the tracing paper and I put photocopy to OHP film, which it can transparent. So uh, two layers were overlapped and then I found, um, yeah, two layer overlap and then I I found the, the possibility of altering perception of three-dimensional form. So, so that's the point I started to look at. Oh, three-dimensional form can appear differently with a different pattern or different arrangement of tone or band or line. So, so I started to look, uh, look up the artists who are dealing with visual perception or illusion. And and then also uh, uh, any resource who, uh, which, which can relate it to the, uh, what I do. 
so um, luckily I saw this painting um, where I am living in uh, Cardiff. So Felix Barini's uh, paintings. So he painted uh, in, uh, from the one one particular location. You can we can see the three perfect rings here, but it will be disappeared. Uh, the, if I move move to the different location, the painting will disappear. So um, so he painted wider here and then narrower here. Looks like a two dimensional painting. So this one is Patrick Hughes' work. Uh, you can see the painting at British Library. So. So if, if you see the red area in red rectangle, the shape, looks like further away. But actually that is nearest the area. So he was um, dealing with reverse perspective or uh, by uh, painting on the three-dimensional piece. So this is a normal like, egg crate. You can see where the light resource is the up, up from the up here. So light down uh, resource from up. And then I rotated uh, 180 degrees here. Still light is up there. Oh. Wonder how. <laughs> but it looks like con convex. It was the flip over. Because it is our expectation or experience, we always see the light is up. So we want to see the light up. So um, rather than actual concavity, we see the con convex form. So this is quite common illusion, the ho hollow face illusion. So this is a, a, a hollow um, opposite mold of the con uh, normal face, but still we can see the normal face. So we try, we, our eyes perceive more familiar objects rather than unfamiliar objects. So we've never seen the con concave face uh, in, our, in our experience. So we see the uh, normal face from the hollow area. And then um, this is um, Anish Kapoor's work. This, this area is actually concave, but if you try, you can see convex image can come, can, come out, can come out because there is not much information about which one is which. So the, so the ambiguity in between convex and concavity. So here, actually, this is a hole, but it looks like a spot on the rock. So there is no information about the reality. And then this one, the th it looks like a three-dimensional normal pop, but actual reality is squashed. So she, she wants, want, um, the Elizabeth Fritch wants it to be looked perfect, round shape of pop. So she applied elliptical rim here, and then she uh, uh, put the curved vase, and then she used the gradient in width. The yeah, size, size become wide uh, or larger to the center, and then she applied the curved arrangement of element. So that all perfect that the all the uh, elements cooperate together to be looked as a three dimensional pot. So I. So I, I re, uh, investigated the basic um, element in creation of illusory quality with gradient. So this one, um, gradient in uh, width or, or interval. So you can see a special curvature appears. So here is a gradient in tone. So tone get lighter to the center. And you can see the slight curvature appear. And then uh, this one, two elements together, like a gradual increase, tone, increasing in tone and width towards the center. So 
uh, more more special curvature here. And then three of them in all, like uh, gradual increase in, of interval and width and tone. So well appeared uh, special curvature. But here, the two elements uh, um, uh, 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 arranged together, except the tone. Tone, um, um, there's uh, not much special curvature, even uh, the, uh, uh, <laughs> the curvature disappeared by the tone arrangement, uh, uh, opposite arrangement of tone. So I started investigate uh, in ceramic three-dimensional form. So this one is, a, is um, flat surface and then con convex form and then concave. I applied the pattern gradually increase toward the center. So you can see slight curvature up here and then actual convex form exaggerated and then uh, it appears convex form rather than concave form. So that is another illusion. So I applied the opposite way of arrangement. So uh, gradually decreased the center. So um, it looked like opposite as this, yeah? And then you can see the actual form can appear uh, diminished. Its uh, volume can appear diminished. So I applied the um, actual three-dimensional cylinder form. Cylindrical form is really basic form. Then I can see more illusory phenomena from the simple form. So I applied like a blocks of tone on the top. It looked like a hole or a spot on the cylinder. And this one actually uh, influenced the, uh, the di diameter. So it the diameter looks like smaller than here, so lighter area. And this one um, looks like can appear a gap between two semi-cylinder. And I was really uh, interested in the relationship between the background. Normally, lighter tone appear to advance, darker tone recede in general, but depends on the tone of background, like here, the, the, the dark tone can appear uh, advanced against to the light background. And you can see the dark tone with the same background can appear recede. And also the diameter looks like narrower than the light area. And then this one is also same happen here as, as the dark tone. So you can see I, um, the, the gradient in width, yeah, or the uh, gradient in width of band, so create the volumetric form. So it curves out, yeah. So it also like reached profile can appear. And then the rim, three dimensional form, like a rim, appear to recede, become part of a pattern. So here. I apply the direct the line directly on the rim. The rim can appear uh, flatten, become part of pattern. And also, you can see appear to rise uh, down and rise and down. Yeah. So um, okay, this one. So um, so the technically. Uh, was made on the wheel, like wheel thrown, and painted by brush. So I use 18 different gray, from light as white, dark as black. So um, the rigid profile capture different light. So it depends on where they are or where the light is. They uh, keep changing the, the, the uh, appearance. And also, um, the, we expect underneath dark and above light, but I applied it the other way around sometimes, so it creates illusory quality as well. And another piece. Okay, yeah. So 
So you can see how the, 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 the uh, shade is changing by the reflection and the light. So dark here, and then light, and then reflection here. So keep changing. Yeah, other group of. So actually, this center area is concave, but there is not much information about concavity. So, um, yeah. So, and then this one is the um, hand built. I made 20 different tonal clay. So um, individual lines are from different clay body. So the, each rings are built up one by one by hand. So you can see the same principle as I showed you before. So uh, get, uh, getting in and up in And here, also the same principle I applied. And here, similar. Yeah. Um, this one is made last year, and the new work. I uh, this is uh, uh, eighty-one cubes uh, cubes of uh, made of slip casting technique. So you can see how I arrange the tone. So narrower and get wider and then narrower mm -hmm. and then darker and lighter. So from the far away, you can see the pattern, so the, uh, the, 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 the pattern directing this way, yeah. And then actual whole square looked like tilt, yeah. From the far away, not cl mm. from the uh, nearer uh, location, you can't see. You can see the detail, but you can't see the the, um, the illusion. But from far away, you can see. Or half close your eyes, then less information available, then you can see more illusory quality. And then this one, so like a dark tone on the cube can appear. Um, disappear or, or blending to the background. So only the lighter tone appear to advance. So you can, from the far away, as I told you, you can see the uh, curvature up in and up in, yeah. And also the, there is a pattern movement here and then move here. So well, I, I want to talk about the, the work I, I displayed here. So during the lockdown last year, in 2020, yeah, I was doing my project funded by Art Council Wales. There were three aims, and then one of the aims, I couldn't make it happen because the university uh, where the, all the facility I want to use is there. Uh, the university was locked down as well, so I couldn't use the facility. So I took the one, the, 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 the aim or object, um, 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 and then I applied uh, PCB award with that aim. So, so idea is like, um, uh, I want to make a bigger size of uh, block and different shape of block. And then I, the idea was here, so this one, so, and then I want to make this tool so with the drawing, so, so I went to the Fabricate Laboratory in university and then uh, make, made this shape of dies, which is for extruder. So clay can go through this empty space and then I can get this shape of coil, yeah, this shape of coil. Then this is a slicer I designed and then put it in here and then cut, cut it into the identical size. Yeah, so, and this one is for the wall pit. Yeah, so cut it into the identical and then arrange it into the just basic simple uh, pattern. 
and so yeah so, yeah so this one so um so i showed to the um the, the square shape of blocks uh, attached together yeah one by one by hand it it is quite difficult to achieve this technique and and then get rid of the uh, crack or failure. So that's why there are a lot of crack on the piece because I thought, I think I fire, overfired because I, I, uh, where I work is a fireworks play studio which I share the kiln or the facility and the studio. So there is no particular kiln I can use. Sometimes busy, I can't use the one particular kiln. So I was busy, I, I hurried, and I fired at the kiln, which I don't normally use, and it happened. So I fired over, over fired. <laughs> so all the crack up here, it's a shame. So you can, so the, 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 actually I was focusing on the technique. That's why visually not much about optical effect appeared. So it is not disappointing because it is just on the way, on the, this part of process, not the result of process. It's in, on the way of pro, uh, pro, uh, process. So uh, if I um, have more time, um, after that I may apply different pattern, so which can create more, uh, more uh, effective, compel people's uh, uh, visual field. But I, yeah, just uh, displayed some pieces which are not perfectly made. Yeah, so I. <laughs> yeah, I, I wasn't happy actually. <laughs> yeah, actually, same pattern or same number of cubes as uh, as this, as this piece. So. Um, same pattern as the cylinder and the wall piece. So, well, actually, you can, you may have seen the piece from the further away, and then there is a, a the lighter tone area appears the advance, and then there's slight curvature appears. If you go and back to the room, and then you can find how it works. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Just. This is the end, almost end of my uh, talk, but uh, maybe you may be curious about my future work. What I do at this moment, I am making a piece for the competition, and I make another piece for uh, co uh, collect, uh, which will be on next year, February. Um, so I, I, so I am playing with a perspective. So, so you can see the, how I arrange. So uh, this is not against to the perspective, actual normal perspective. And then the, the height by the height, and then the distance between the cylinder and will be different with uh, size of the width. So with that kind of element, I can create something unusual visually uh, against to the perspective. Um, how can I? Yeah. yeah, yeah, more, more, more. Yeah, 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 that's it. So, um, so it depends. Oh, so, um, I have a piece. The the um, when I use the red first time. I, um, I want to compel people's attention by red. And then the, when the people focusing on one particular area, so our uh, peripheral field will be deceived. So I want people, viewer, to see the red line first, mm -hmm. and then the, I want them to be deceived by um, the other things. So, so, and then I found, you can see the red, they are same red, but looks like different tones, isn't it? Because the strong contrast, 
So like lighter tone make darker tone darker and the darker tone make lighter tone lighter. So in between strong contrast, the red come like a, um, almost disappear and then strong contrast, uh, like a light tone in the surrounded by darker tone, like a, uh, become brighter, yeah, red, yeah. So, yeah, it, and then, yeah. It's really clever, it's trick of the eye. <laughs> yeah. yeah, actually they are also clay, so not inlaid. Mm -hmm. It is actually thin layer of the rings. Oh, yeah. this is so difficult. <laughs> yeah. So actually this one or this one it looked like a rich because yeah. because uh, we uh, the lighter tone wants to be underneath uh, above the dark tone wants to be underneath because of our expectation so, or so experience. All just cylinders. This is a cylinder and then straight. Wow, yeah. But actually this one is rigid. Ah. Yeah. Yeah, actually. Yeah. So she, it works yeah. so well though. Yeah. I just I wow. just know. Wow. Yeah. It adds so. to the obscure room, the fact that it's rigid. Yes. It's quite yeah. cool when you are rigid and it's something. Yeah. yeah. So that's really clever. Yeah, there are a lot of uh, things I can think or or, or, or so and then people see, people have a different experience and a different eyes. Yeah. They see differently. When I go to the uh, fair, I talk to a lot of people with a, a lot of people, and they, um, I, I found there are um, some people who see differently my work. So I really enjoy talking yeah. with the people who see my work differently. That's interesting. Yeah. Isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Okay, thank you. Thank you. Thank you.